Katz continues to face scrutiny from people who use public transportation. Several operational issues with the Charlotte area transit system is the reason. Yeah, from lapsed maintenance and inspections to a lack of communication, city leaders say they are working to address these problems, but also they're trying to stay on track with plans for the future. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman tells us how the agency is planning for the silver line while fixing issues with its blue line. Addressing neglect from the past while chugging toward the future. A Charlotte City Council member tells me both are happening at CATS, which is under fire for not taking proper care of the light rail. This week, CATS is kicking off its light rail bridge inspections after finding all 37 elevated structures along the blue line have not been inspected since 2019. Plus, every train needs to be overhauled due to lack of care, a problem found after news of the May 2022 derailment. Despite the discoveries, officials insist the transit system is safe. We have just got, got to get our house in order and we're working on doing that. <laughs> Meanwhile, the agency is planning for the Silver Line, which will be about 10 miles longer than the Blue Line, stretching from Belmont to Union County. The outlook is, is not changed. Uh, we, we are continuing to pursue the goals that we established. Councilman Ed Driggs is chair of the city's Transportation Committee. He says the maintenance issues are concerning, but shouldn't get them off track from planning Charlotte's future. Adding new leadership is working to fix neglect from the past. I believe that a lot of what went on was a function of uh, discord among senior managers, three of whom the top three managers have left. So we now have uh, interim managers. The Silver Line plans include a rail trail in East Charlotte, mirroring the popular pathway in South End. I just think that's so awesome. Cyclist Ari Rodriguez is excited, but says the light rail mishaps are top of mind. I definitely have questions. The answer, according to Rodriguez, is transparency. I think the more they communicate with us, the more they share, have more of these public meetings, I think that's gonna, I think, kind of bridge that gap. Bridge inspections are happening through April 11th, and on April 10th, Katz is asking City Council's approval to spend $30 million on overhauling the Blue Line fleet. In Charlotte, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.